Dear educators, education is not a gift. It's a mutual process of empowerment that unshackles the educator and the pupil from the imposed stringencies of the past. It enables us to be complete human. Education and other pedagogical tools realize their purpose when our conscience is awakened to be critical and completely engaged with the world around us. Our vision At Password, we believe in creating content that assists learning rather than dominates the dictum of the classroom. Our learning resources are built to merge in and encourage learners to discover their innate potentials and maximize them to the zenith. We don't see learning as a monolithic action that is only a privilege of a few people. It is an assimilation of knowledge that manifests the aspirations and values of everyone involved in the process of putting together a better tomorrow. Our mission. We at Password, through our books, digital resources and other classroom friendly tools, help everyone build an experience around their identity, thus making the learning exercise unique for each person involved. We look forward to easing the journey of learning for you with our contributions and make this a gratifying task for the pool of mentors and learners worldwide. Our services We regularly conduct multifarious programs like workshops, seminars, training sessions, etc. for educators to keep them updated with the changes in the field. Students and parents are also given motivational sessions on and off to help them cope up with the pressure of learning. Veteran personalities in this field conduct the sessions. We have successfully conducted high-level programs in collaboration with renowned universities and organizations and they have drawn the attention and applause of the academic community. Hence, we would be delighted to have you with us on this educational journey of ours to motivate, encourage, educate, enlighten and support us to lead everyone from the abyss of darkness into the heaven of freedom. Team Password A very good morning to all of you, dear kindergarten teachers. Password Publishing House welcomes you to this session on decoding NCF in balloons. Our resource person for the day is Mr. Binish Kimenon. Mr. Binish Kimenon has been in the field of teaching for 15 years. He has a wide experience of more than 10 years in the field of training as student's trainer, counselor, teacher trainer, and parents trainer who has impacted more than 1,50,000 students, teachers, and parents over 1,500 sessions across South India. His key competencies include an engaging, enthusiastic training style that ensures excellent interaction with teachers, students, and parents. He's a staunch believer in the VAK methodology, which is the visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. I welcome you, dear sir, to head this session. Welcome. Thank you, Aparna from Password. Very good morning to all my dear teachers. I hope I am audible. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are. Okay. So my dear teachers, <clears throat> I know that you people are uh, happily waiting for your next academic year. And this time we have something very special that uh, at least we have been listening about NCF or NEP for last one year. So teachers have an idea about doing something different or uh, uh, something interesting in the classrooms. And according to NCF, that is the most important thing. That is, your pedagogy should be supporting to provide a happy environment in the class, especially in the foundational stage. So you people are foundational stage teachers, isn't it? Uh, uh, more than saying, uh, you know, KG teachers, now we, we can say we are foundation stage teachers. And one more important point is that the play class has been added to kindergarten session or the foundation stage. Now from play class to second standard, 
all the teachers come under a group called the foundation stage or ECCE teachers. I don't know how much you have uh, understood about the importance of this session, this uh, particular section and uh, saying that I am a foundation stage teacher. I know, uh, I think we have teachers from all over South India today and we are expecting more also. Uh, sometimes maybe because we are going to have an academic year soon, the uh, first June 1st, most of the schools would be reopening by June 1st. So teachers would be busy. So I don't know how many of would be joining, how many of these teachers would be joining. But anyway, uh, teachers from all over South India, from Karnataka, Tamil Nadu are there. So today my medium of communication also would be in English. And just like in NCF, it is said mother tongue should be given importance in uh, foundation stage classes for the as their communicating commu medium of communication and also of instruction. <laughs> so definitely teachers, teachers would be so happy. Uh, about that, whichever be the language, whether it is Kannada or Tamil, uh, Tamil or Malayalam, we people are happy to use our mother tongue because we know that it's a wonderful language to express all our emotions and ideas. So, of course, it would be the same for our children also. But today, and I, I, I also like that I'm a Malayali and I can, I can, uh, I would also be, will be so happy to use Malayalam. But today, we will be communicating only in English. And one more thing before one year we had no other choice to communicate to interact to meet other than this online platform but again we have come back to that today and uh, i suggested a password also last last day that we should definitely we should have more such online platform online classes uh, in the coming months at least once in a month we teachers should join together to interact asking some doubts or uh, uh, some uh, uh, no clearing our confusions or doubts regarding teaching and I should definitely thank you teachers for supporting me and my uh, team password for uh, by choosing our textbook there are teachers who have uh, uh, have been using our textbook for uh, last few years and definitely I should express my love for you okay so I know how you have been so affectionate and loving towards me definitely so but anyway, so if it was a physical class, online, uh, sorry, offline uh, uh, interaction, interactive session, definitely we would have sang some songs and uh, sung some songs or danced and uh, talked a lot. But today, definitely this would be a session to interact about, to explain about the textbook, about uh, in introducing uh, NEP or NCF. Uh, incorporating some of the points from NCF in your classroom pedagogy. It would be difficult to start to have everything all on a sudden, but some, some areas could be given importance. That is what I understood. Even it is difficult for all the uh, administrators to read the entire document and ask the teachers to do that such things in the class, in the classrooms. It's difficult. So I always go through, go with the pedagogy of uh, uh, especially with the kindergarten or the foundation stage. I hope you people are happy today to be here. We would be there uh, uh, for one hour together, maximum or one and a half hours together and uh, telling my ideas, uh, my views. Okay. Most of you have switched off your video, turned off your video. So I don't know what you people are doing there, uh, how you are feeling, whether you are happy, whether you are listening or whether you are doing some sorts of household chores and listening me or uh, you are there in the school. This is this is comfortable, isn't it? This is comfortable. That's what I said. The online platforms are always, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, comfortable and relaxing. You can listen to me and you can prepare your dosha and chutney, no issues. You can listen to me and you can wash your clothes in the uh, washing machine, no problem. You can listen to me and uh, you can just lie down there uh, in the bed, no issues. Okay, you can write something, prepare something for the class, your school. So everything is fine. Just the only thing is just listen, that's all. So for the last one month, I have been visiting schools, visiting schools, explaining and discussing about this. And I should say my KG teachers, the teachers whom I met are excellent, just like you people, you know, all of compared to the teachers of other classes. I should say this, uh, <laughs> believing that they are not listening to me. Compared to the teachers of other sections, that is higher class sections, KG teachers are vibrant, dynamic, and ready to accept what all things we say. 
If I ask you people to dance and teach EVS, you are ready. If I ask you to sing some songs and teach mathematics, you are ready. And that is my happiness. Okay. So today also I will be sharing some of these kinds of things in uh, uh, teaching. And uh, if it is possible, if it is okay for you, try to implement, try to use such samples uh, of art integration or experiential learning or some kind of games and plays in your classroom uh, and check whether your children would be happy or not. That is the main point. That is the most important thing. Oh, isn't it? Your children are coming to the classroom just to get entertained. I always say that. Students up to seven years, that is up to second standard. That is what we say the most important period of their life, of our life, first, first seven years. The 90% of the brain development is happening. The senses are being developed. So that is why we give importance to sensorial development activities in that area, in that age. So all the children of this age, this age group coming to the class to play. If you find some child who is sitting in the classroom idle without participating in any of the games and plays, you have to observe that child. Whether there is some problem with that child, some kind of learning disability, some kind of other emotional developmental problems are there. You have to find out, which means all the children out of 40 would be happy to play uh, provided they are healthy enough. They don't have any other problem, physical issues. So that is the main point in NCF for this age. When you think about your pedagogy, your classroom activities, just go through a few points like you should provide a, a safe, uh, uh, stimulating and happy environment. Get everything to the classroom as a teaching tool, teaching aid. Whatever you can collect from your surroundings, whether it is dried leaves or green leaves, whether it is sticks or some kind of seeds. I always tell the teachers, this is a season of jackfruit. So collect some jackfruit seeds and bring to the class. You can use it for teaching addition, uh, subtraction, even for division. You can teach them how to share it. Isn't it? You can teach to understand, to make them know more or less. So, whichever be the topic, that is the beauty of kindergarten classrooms. So, a textbook is simply a syllabus. Whichever be the textbook, it's a syllabus. What are things you need to cover within the two years? How much you can teach? See, in some textbook, I can see more and more sentences and details about the vitamins you get from fruits and vegetables. I, I did see that. From the fruits, this kind of, yeah, we have to consider our children of this time also, alpha generation, very sharp, very brilliant, technically, you know, sharp. They can learn most of the things from the mobile, you know, about the mobile phone technology. I have a smartphone, most of you would be, and I don't know how to use it properly. My children taught me, my 12th standard student taught me, sir, you please use it like this because they gave me it as a present in the last birthday. Okay. So I found it very difficult to learn all those because I don't have time to give, you no know, time to time to spend on that. That's the main problem. But our children have a lot of time to look at the mobile phone, to go to check the take the mobile phone and to explore it themselves. They learn everything themselves. You don't teach. You don't ask them to find out a new app. You don't ask them to get a new video from the YouTube. They find it out. So they know everything. They send their own voice clips in the WhatsApp. They learn it. They learned it. So they are sharp and brilliant, you know. So, but NCF, when we speak about NCF, it's more traditional. It gives more emphasis to traditional practices which have been using in India. And the traditional teaching materials, you need not spend uh, too much time with a smart class. I find it, uh, I think I didn't find anywhere telling that the teachers should take the children to the smart class for one, one period every day. I, I didn't see that. You can use the technology because that's a part of the time. It's the most important thing of the time. So yeah, definitely you should use that. But otherwise, you should focus on their sensory development. There we need to go with the traditions. That is why you always say, give, please uh, give emphasis to massage, to giving massage to their body till seven, uh, seven years, till second standard, not you teachers. Don't think that why this man is talking about giving a bath oil bath in, in the coming academic year. It's not like that. But it is compulsory that your children up to seven years, they should get a bath. So that because that is a 
sensory that's a stimulation stimulating activity for the brain as here we speak about the stimulation not only just like the stimulation we say in biology that is stimuli and response it's not simply like that it's about the experiences that you give for brain development so in the classroom also why we paint the classroom with all the brilliant colors because it's for their stimulation for the stimulation for the nerves that go from the eyes to the brain so all the classrooms should be colorful and in the lesson plans which i have provided in my teacher's handbook i say for teaching mathematics for teaching evs for teaching english whichever be the topic or the concept take them for a campus walk every week at least once in a week take them for a campus walk let them go and watch around i don't know what about your uh, uh, campus about the condition of your campus whether it is greenery or some whatever you just take them outside let them walk around the campus let them run around the campus let them be free let them see something new oh how many doors are there in the campus i can count up to 10 or 12 doors how many windows are there how many trees are there let them go and uh, uh, count it let them touch the walls let them touch the pillows let them touch the trees and feel how how the bark how what is the texture of the bark is it rough or smooth let them collect some leaves or some some dried fruits some dried seeds from the campus all these are a part of their learning so take it take them take them to walk around the campus so a stimulating environment you should provide a lot of things of different textures to touch you can keep it in the classroom nowadays i can see in the instagram that is uh, tactile stimulation uh, material 2000 rupees you can buy it online why should you buy it online just collect things from the surroundings and keep it in the classroom make them touch it once let them touch it with their hands let them let them touch it with the food with their food see when i speak about all these things some of the teachers, those who already uh, undergone Montessori training would be understanding the importance of all this. But I, I don't know, but other teachers would be thinking, sir, why should we do all these things in the class? We can teach them, we can make them listen everything from the smart class, the audio, the video, you can, you can watch old video and they are so happy that they dance. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. But see, once if a document says all these things, after researching for a long time see and before this document for the last eight years i have been telling all these things to the, all the teachers wherever i went please do these kinds of activities because you don't know how the lack of these kind of activities absence of such stimulating activities affect their brain when they reach second standard you find a few children oh not studying not writing not responding so many problems are there maybe because of the developmental problems that is what we say developmental disorders so please try to give all such things please try to give all such things in the classroom so to touch and when i i ask the teachers you know we know the importance of giving sandpaper letters to improve their writing to give them the capacity of developing some image in the brain that is let them let them uh, go through the sandpaper trace the sandpaper letters so that the image the root of the letter would be there in their mind but it is not good for a teacher to take the finger to hold the finger and do the tracing definitely that would have their the harm their finger so that is not advised see uh, just like that you can provide all things in the classroom let them go and touch that's all don't uh, take their hold their hand and force them to do it so you provide a lot of objects in the classroom to make the, to make them listen different sounds it's not only the sound that they listen from the mobile phone is uh, uh, suggested let them li uh, listen different the sounds from the tables whether it is a plastic table or a wooden table the sound differs whether it is a drum a big drum or a small drum a big bell or a small bell the sound differs take a steel glass and other glass real glass the sound differs if you take five or six glasses with the different amounts of water and beat on that it, it makes different different sounds so the these kinds of different sounds should be uh, given uh, you should make them to listen to sounds in the class up to second standard again auditory stimulation so why i emphasize this point is without doing all these things and you go for some other method in the class i don't think that would be that would would do some good for their brain development when the nep came in 2020 that the document completely was set 
and present it for ECC early childhood care and education and they explained it very well about the stimulation in this age so my dear teachers a textbook provides you syllabus but how to teach it is different so when I prepared my textbook giving the content giving the syllabus I had some of these plans in my mind my teacher should teach it like that so I in the teachers handbook I provided some of the activities it's not something just like a scientifically tabulated to this skill that skill and psychology it's not like that you please use these kind of activities in the class and plan your scheme according to your convenience in some of the schools there are a lot of programs in the class so you plan your scheme according to that i cannot tell you within the first month you have to complete this much things it depends depends on your school uh, administration school system everything so you plan according to that isn't it the first term three months would be difficult your children should come to the classroom and get adapted and they should feel comfortable to learn and you have to give a lot of pre-writing activities give a lot of scribbling in the newspaper let their finger muscle coordination finger hand eye coordination finger muscle development happen give a lot of scribbling in the newspaper with the crayons or the pencil or something 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 like that and then go to the notebook so it, it will take some time in the textbook itself we have provided one page to write let capital letter a and small letter a let them write if you go to the notebook and if it is lagging no issues that is my point it they will take some time in the first term from a to h have been given in the textbook but i don't think with all the programs in the campus and the activities your children would be so fast in completing a to h within the first three months in writing so no issues let them take you to the second term no problem the main point is to convince your parents that is the main point isn't it so but i can say give the first three months maximum pre-writing activities like a scribbling pasting papers or bits of papers or if you can give them dough activity or the clay activity that's fine tearing newspaper give it good tracing uh, uh, the shapes you just give it good tracing let them be free that's the main thing the very second week of the june don't take a notebook of four lines and the pencil and ask them to touch the top line confined to the middle two lines so they would be finding it very difficult to follow such instructions and rules isn't it in writing so let them be free enough to scribble and write in the used newspaper that is my suggestion so give them a stimulating environment and in the notebook and in the textbook we have given a lot of pre-writing patterns please make sure your children use practice all such patterns because in india we have a language malayalam tamil or kannada which has got a lot of curves ups and downs and uh, lines so let them practice all the curves and the patterns then they can write all these letters easily so by the time after three months once if the child is given a plain paper and check it like that give a plain paper ask them to write or draw the patterns and you can examine if the patterns are not correct not bold enough okay and also with the uh, with, if no clarity then make sure understand those children have not yet reached the uh, that standard of writing or drawing the curves so that you can give the next day you can give them writing the letters so my point is give a lot of pre-writing activities but don't give it as a punishment or a homework okay do this uh, three pages uh, sit there and uh, scribble for it's not like that okay just make them happy enough to do that give them stars it is not advised to give stars but still i'm telling all the teachers are following that pattern following that system of giving stars so i would say just draw a happy smiley in their notebook or in the paper in which they scribble show a happy smiley of the teacher so that resembles the happy face of the teacher then your children would be so happy to see that not the star do not give more and more stars in some book and less stars in the other book children definitely compare why i have got only two stars the other child got three stars so don't give go for giving more and more stars and whichever be the way whatever the child has written or drawn in the paper if you have a system of giving stars give stars to everyone let everybody get it but you can in addition to that you can draw a smiley if you are not happy with the writings the picture drawn show a smart draw a, a sad smiley that's all and give a happy smiley if it is perfect that's all 
so when the child sees that the teacher is sad definitely the child would be having an a, 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 you know a mind an attitude of no i should make my teacher happy that's it in the ncf also it says that don't go for any negative comments or signs okay you can say instead of telling keep quiet or shut up you can say you can ask your children could you please make me happy by keeping quiet i want to be happy i know you will definitely make me happy by keeping quiet so such kind of positive sentences positive comments should be given in the class okay anyway leave that part so my point is give them a stimulating environment and the next is play is central to learning a math teacher should go to the classroom with a game in your mind an english teacher should go with a game an evs teacher should go with a game so everyone plan something discover a new game and go to the class today we will be discussing something like that okay some of the games which i find it is easy to do it in the class so play is central to learning you can you can see there is no limit up to second standard classroom there is no limit you can use any kind of any kind of game so today morning i see i saw a picture in which a child jumping to circle now teacher is making children jumping into circles so i thought that that's a fine game you know it's a fine activity when you teach shapes draw circles draw triangles draw rectangles or draw oval shape on the floor call a child ask them tell them give them the instruction jump to the triangle so the child has to find out which is the triangle so their child will be jumping inside the triangle so that's a game isn't it so their physical involvement will be there clear they have to identify which is the figure which is the shape the teacher is asking for teacher is mentioning about and i have to jump into that particular shape isn't it so that these kind of activities because the next point in the principles of pedagogy they say physical development should be addressed now in this age don't expect your children sitting somewhere for a long time from morning till evening i do remember in one school when i went the teacher was so sad about uh, uh, not doing the activities and she complained sir from morning till evening i should make my children sit in the class and i have to make them complete all these words some of the schools they make sure ukg children write all the names of the vegetables the fruits and everything in the notebook 10 times and they have the system their system is just like making the children by hearting all the spelling in some schools they give compositions in ukg just like write sentences about all them write sentences about myself write sentences about the school i don't know i, I don't understand why is this these things are necessary in ukg why should you ask them to write compositions even it is not needed in second standard but your children should be able to speak about their school their everything yeah i went to the park yesterday and i i did all these things let your children speak about such things why should they write and the teacher was telling see sir you are you are telling about a lot of activities and when do we have time to make them do and there are 50 students in the class so how can we make them do all the games all these activities and they have to make them by heart story there is a competition there is an exam for story they have to make them uh, by heart two three rhymes there is an exam for rhyme exam for rhyme what exam is that why should we conduct exams on rhymes and stories once if the child is not getting the idea of learning that given the, the theme of that rhyme i ask the teachers you teach you make them by heart the story of thirsty crow i hardly listen children using that word thirsty later miss i'm thirsty can i drink some water no especially in kerala not even a single child use that word thirsty in the daily communication practice then what is the need of teaching what is the purpose of teaching that by hearting that story but once if you do the story beautifully in the class let them get involved and let them be a crow and come and say nurse i i'm thirsty i don't have water so let them use that word and let them go to their home and say amma i'm thirsty so let them use that word so then what is the objective of your teaching and learning practice what is the learning objective learning outcome that you expect what is the competency you want to develop in that child what is the competency skill that you are focusing what is your curricular goal so focus on all all such things and if you find it is relevant and important and good 
to teach a story you please do that my point is wrong then i admit it no issues once if you find it good if you 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 find some result in that do it no issues so my experience make me to say that and if a teacher can correct me i'm so happy to accept it sir this is good okay you do it in this way definitely we will do it so give them some free time so physical development let them jump let them hop and do mathematics let them jump and let them run learn evs so like that so physical development should be addressed okay so we will we will speak about that and the next thing is all the six domains of development should be addressed the two thing two domains we already said one is sensory and perceptual domain so i explained about sensory development the next is physical domain that is that is fine motor and gross motor fine motor development i said pre writing activities for fine motor and lot of other activities buttoning or transferring seeds or you know there are lot of things we don't have time to speak about that if you know see whatever you make them to sit and do with the hands fine motor if you ask them to count some beads and make small small groups of beads fine motor so groups of five beads groups of 10 beads that's fine motor i said you uh, jack fruit seeds uh, it's a good uh, uh, what a teaching a tool yeah, definitely so go for such activity transferring sand using a spoon i advise my, i uh, um, want my parents to give them a spoon for taking lunch in the class it is not uh, to make them uh, make my classrooms make my school an american school or a european school it's not for that but at least for lunch time let them use the spoon you might have seen a child say, of say two years or two and a half years taking lunch taking the meals with the left hand and simply put it on the putting it on the face not directly inside the mouth keeping everything no pasting everything on the face but by the age of 3 or 4 years the child learns to keep it correctly inside the mouth that is fine motor development so let them use a spoon that's good and our children find it very difficult children find it very difficult for one or two or three months but they learn it fast then they would be so happy to take no need to use a fork and all but only a spoon let them let them use hands in their homes no problem let them use it let them enjoy using hands and comfortably we south indians are so happy to use our hand to eat food i yeah, definitely so let them enjoy that at their home and this is a skill so let them develop that skill in the school that's all okay so Uh, uh physical domain and then the cognitive domain is very very important whatever concept you teach in mathematics evs and english for cognitive development when the child learns uh, bigger taller uh, taller shorter bigger smaller cognitive development all the activities you give all the concepts you give from math evs or english cognitive development definitely and today i should add you one more when you think about the cognitive development and uh, go with the ncf there is a point that, that you can do okay that you can go for that a science corner for the kindergarten or the foundation stage a science corner just find out some interesting activities which will definitely uh, give them an inqu inquiry based learning one day a teacher takes children to that to a particular room or somewhere give them some board or something non breakable okay and ask them to throw it upwards it comes down throw it upwards it comes down throw it from somewhere uh, tangentially or uh, as a projectile let it come fall down and after some time the teacher ask a question oh my god why all these things are falling down why why it doesn't go up what do you think why all these are coming down why the fruits are coming down why the coconut is coming down so they might have seen all these things you just ask them let them give any kind of answer that is an experiment once if you go with your discussion neatly and child friendly don't go for too many things like but you can introduce at least say yeah our earth attracts everything down you can say that it is not necessary to introduce the term gravity but you just introduce the concept all these things are falling down then your children should definitely ask then the why not the aeroplane is coming down ma'am then why the rocket is not coming down ma'am you there your children should ask it that is a question so these kinds of activities clear from where you people have come you children have from, from where have you come from 
yeah from the womb of your mother don't say the stomach okay when i prepared the textbook for the first time body parts i marked it tummy okay my teachers were not happy with that no sir it is stomach so i said stomach is inside it's a body part inside it's tummy no it's not good and i changed it because my teachers wanted it a stomach okay so just like that don't tell yeah you have come from the stomach of your mother then the child will be thinking oh so i was sleeping with the biryani or the kulimandi there oh my god what was that so just give a, give the word introduce the word womb there is a special room there for you okay so you have come from the womb then ask your child then from where does the baby plant come from from where does the baby plant is there a womb for the tree for a plant oh my god no so from where does it come from then introduce seed germination as an experiment then give them a seed germination as an experiment just light a camphor or an agarbati in one corner of the room a hall ask your children to be in the other corner and ask them did you are you getting the smell of the garbati yes ma'am we are getting oh my god i lit the camphor or the garbati in this corner how could it reach there so the smell can travel through the air isn't it so that is it so the air travels just take a few paper bits in your hand just blow it off so you can say the air can move away the things that is that is what happens when a thunderstorm or a tornado comes so you speak about the very strong heavy winds but the children should understand your children should understand air can move things think about these kind of kinds of activities do it in the science corner up to second standard and they have to understand they should not again they should not feel like yo moon is my uncle ambili amma avan in malayalam we say ambili amma avan moon is a uncle it is, it is not an uncle see it is a celestial body people are thinking about children are uh, see watching in the youtube or in their games uh, uh, that rockets are going to the moon or the astronauts are going to the moon when i said about the word astronaut one principal asked me oh my god don't introduce such words to kindergarten children it's a heavy word they cannot uh, uh, tolerate that that strength or hardness of the word what are you talking about see my children are children you say all these kinds of the names of the app the youtube the whatsapp the android phone the smartphone all such words in that small mouth in that age of 3 or 4 years and you are talking you are telling that don't speak about astronaut then how can we reach in the textbook of evs we have given a page a child is looking at the moon a rocket is going there and astronaut is there so definitely the teacher should explain that picture that is what we call picture reading activity whichever be the colorful pictures in the textbook that's for interaction it's not simply to show the picture and leave Ch teacher and children should sit together and discuss see that's a moon is there anyone who has a plan to go to the moon is the is the moon is big uh, uh, as uh, our earth no it's small compared to the size of the earth have you seen what, how does our earth look like yeah it's look like a ball oh my god must it's a ball but it's flat let you people and the you people your children and you interact about that then introduce the word ask not if your phonic training is good enough definitely they will say they can say the word ask not ask not they will say that no problem and their children if it is not perfect no issues at all it need it need not be perfect see english is a foreign language for our children it's a foreign language and for us too so they would be finding it at uh, to some extent they will be finding it difficult to speak about speak that language no problem at all that is why in the principles of pedagogy in ncf it is said focus on the mother tongue let your children come and talk in talk in your mother, their mother tongue when a child comes to say maybe in tamil or in kannada or in malayalam uh, ma'am enikku uh, konjam kaari irukke konjam vaarthai irukke the moment that is not talk in english so the child the moment says no nothing to speak i am going because you are not giving them the freedom to speak so they, let your i no problem you just speak my dear child so they will be blah 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 something they they say no issues but you need to acknowledge yeah oh it's like that oh my god good go to your place that's all <laughs> but the moment they come to you no 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 go to your place i am very busy no no go to your place all teachers you know 
because we people are busy i know that we people are busy we have a lot of things to do that's fine but just lend your ear just give your ear yeah my uh, so sweet give them a kiss a hug and leave no problem but next day also let them come with something interesting see if you give them this kind of freedom to talk sometimes they may tell you something shocking no ma'am one man one uncle touched me on my body this side so let them come and tell you that these kinds of bad things sometimes very rare but sometimes that may also happen yesterday my father did this thing to me my my mother did things to, this thing to me okay so let them come and tell you you are the second mother clear i always tell the teachers you are the best counselors but provided you should give them you should find out some time to listen with all these activities uh, notebook checking uh, and meeting with the principal planning for the anniversary or so, you have a lot of things and you have a lot of children also in the class but if it is i can tell you we can be 70% only we can be a passionate teacher 30% you are a human being you are a wife you are a you are a mother you have a family you have a lot of issues like insurance policy or a, a house rent or whatever no bank loan but still i tell me also like that you know so we should find out at least some time sometimes that may help a child to come out of all the struggles in their life so okay leave that part so all the six domains cognitive domain i told you about the science corner think about such activities definitely if you don't have a room to give us a lab a science lab no problem but you should have do some activities collect the thing take some sugar dissolve in the water and ask them where the salt has gone so that got dissolved but the taste is there you just taste taste it you can introduce the term dissolving what do you mean by, excuse me what do you mean by dissolving and you can show some material some objects float some sink in the water sinking and floating my children told me when i asked them repeatedly how 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 this happened so one child told me sir that is heavy yeah very good no need to get an answer of density but they are heavy that is why it sank in the water good so let them definitely let them definitely give, think and give the chances so that these things are will be really entertaining for you also so my dear teachers go for such things and the next one is art and craft and aesthetic appreciation that domain introduce art and craft we can sing a song and learn we can clap and learn rhythm when i ask you okay introduce the table of number 2 in the class ask your children i will say the table you can clap one two sir two two sir uh, three two sir so let them clap let them think let them concentrate let them clap let them count in their minds so introduce the tables uh, using clapping so that rhythm pattern will be followed you see the rhythm is in, in, uh, increasing by the count too isn't it the rhythm is increase when you go for the table of 3 the rhythm is increasing by the count 3 so that pattern they will learn such patterns so in the brain development the awareness of the rhythm that also would be developed in that area also would be developed so in ncf there is a particular area called musical literacy i don't find uh, i don't think I, i will get some i will get time to explain that but one point is that in that particular area let them have that rhythm pattern developed in their mind how it goes so musically you have to introduce how many teachers would be good in music i don't know but many teachers would be there in music so introduce them the count then the rhythm like tishram mishram ghandam sorry tishram chadrashram ghandam mishram and sankirnam the count of 3 the count of 4 the count of 5 the count of 7 the count of 9 let them clap with that rhythm in tishram 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 the rhythm of chaturashram 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 that that din me the rhythm of khandam tak tak it 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 so these rhythm pattern can be introduced in the class to teach them clapping in different rhythm okay please do it one rhythm for one month your school would be having music teachers let the seek the help of your music teachers let your children watch the music teachers with with respect approach them with respect let them understand carnatic music the basics of carnatic music clear you can introduce 
Sarikama Patanisa assenting, dissenting, the Arohanam and Avrohanam of music and introduce the concept of assenting, dissenting numbers. Simple, easy. I don't have the sound eh? after all these classes. My throat is not okay. Mm. Sarigama Padanisa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is the count. So go up, go come down. Go up, come down. Use their hand to sing. Okay. If it is a real classroom, definitely, I mean physical, offline class, I would have made you to sing that. But now it is not possible. Okay. Sitting in your school, in your classroom, and if you sing, uh, I don't think it's good. But you can practice it if you, if you find it okay. Clear? But your child's hand should move. Sarigamapadanisa, like that. And the numbers also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Clear? So they will get an idea of going from 1 to 8. So it's ascending. How can you reach from 1 to 8? Ascend from 1 to 8 and descend from 8 to 1. Give the idea. So that is what we call musical literacy and art integration. It's fine, isn't it? Just give it. When you introduce mathematics, teaching number names, O, N, E, 1, T, W, O, 2, T, H, R, W, 3, F, O, U, A, 4, O, N, E, 1. You can teach the number names as a song. I am a triangle. We have the same a rhyme is there in the class. I am a triangle, I have three sides, I am a rectangle, I have four sides. So use a song, introduce a song for teaching the shapes and their number of sides, isn't it? See, I think these things are good, I don't know how you are feeling, but anyway, your children, see there is not even a single child who doesn't like a song, who doesn't like to play, who doesn't like to do the actions, that is why since your, teach, your children would imitate you in this age. We have uh, action song as a teaching pedagogy, as a method of teaching. Your children would be so happy to imitate you. After saying all these things, I don't know how many teachers would be at least experimenting with any one of the method. Very rare, very rare. I get responses from the teachers from some of the schools. Some teachers send me a video of teaching, ascending, descending, using music. I felt so happy. At least one school sent that. At least one school did it. And the teacher sent me a voice note also. She said, my children were so happy. Don't think that your children would be learning all the proper correct notes of Sarigama Padanisa in Maya Malavagola Ragam. Don't think like that. Okay. They would be so happy to accept, to understand the concept. Aha. Music also could be used in the learning mathematics. That's nice. Nice. At least they would not be having any change in uh, singing the notes like Sarigama. They will be saying Sarigama Padanisa. But in home, they would be simply singing it. No, to the mother, to the grandfather, to the father. That's it. So let them enjoy learning mathematics. So you can try. Uh, home, 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 home. My sweet home. I live in, I live in my sweet home. I sleep in my bedroom like that. So my home, all the concepts of that my home, compose it as a song and teach it. Your children would be so happy to do that as an action song. Then you can ask questions. So where do you sleep? Yeah, I sleep in my bedroom. Where do you eat? I eat in my dining room. So you introduce it as a, it as a song. So I said about art and craft and aesthetic appreciation. One more thing I should tell you. Aesthetic appreciation. Whichever be the, uh, uh, the activity, whichever be the action, Whichever be the situation, whatever be the thing your child did, someone did, your children should learn to appreciate. A child sang a rhyme and came back. So the neighbor should say, wow, you did it beautifully, man. Congratulations. A child comes with a color dress on the birthday. Not you. Other children should appreciate. Wow, look, you look so beautiful. So that appreciation should come. A child who may be fatty and come with a color dress, come with a new dress in a uh, uh, on the birthday. Other children should appreciate. It's not about the body. It's about the beauty. So your children should acknowledge, accept, recognize whatever be the beauty that they can find. It's not about the skin tone. It's not about the perfection in the voice. It's not about the size. 
it's not about the uh, uh, the expense or cost of the dress it's not something like that but whatever you they find in front of their eyes uh, done by somebody else or presented by somebody else wow beautiful that appreciation should be done so that you have to teach them you have to model and it is said in ncf once if you go to a classroom which is noisy all are running talking and do doing or doing all mischievous thing but you are keeping quiet not shouting at them not asking them to keep quiet in a loud voice not shouting and you are simply standing there quiet you are doing a positive modeling for your children if you go to a noisy place it doesn't mean that you need to talk in loud voice you can be quiet and that is why they say give silence game in the daily routine once in the assembly after doing everything in the assembly give them a game like a silence game whatever be the way method you uh, take it uh, for introducing that game that doesn't matter but they should learn to keep quiet when nobody else is instructing them in a loud voice you can you can tell them see miss will be touching the head if miss touches your teacher touches the head with the right hand that's a sign for you to keep quiet then no more talk then you have to keep quiet so that's the game clear give them some activity to do and you can say in this activity the mandatory condition is instruction is to keep quiet no more sound but you can do it that is why we say during the lunch break no talks eat happily enjoy eating but not talks unnecessarily clear that is also a practice you can whichever be the situation teach them to practice a game like a silence game clear your children should understand the importance of keeping silence but our according to our indian culture our family sit situation system is not uh, good for uh, uh, keeping silence everybody speaks in a loud voice everybody the grandparents the father the mother the neighbor the the fisherman the somebody who comes to sell the fish everyone talking in a loud voice your children are used to listen to that so they also take the uh, that loud voice whatever they are doing just imitating the society understand it like that so once if the teacher is keeping quiet for some time your children also will keep quiet they sometimes they would be surprised why this lady is not talking anything oh my god we people are talking but she is simply standing quiet there after some time when the curiosity is gone they also will go for i anyway miss is not talking so i also don't I, i should also not talk so that is the way they learn keeping quiet so just try to practice so how many domains we discussed oh my god and then the socio emotional uh, development that area uh learning the so, uh, social skills we say up to 7 years don't give your child mobile phone for a long time the screen time should not exceed 30 minutes for the whole day okay whether it is 5 minutes or 10 minutes that's fine and not more than half an hour because once if your child is using the mobile phone playing the game or watching the videos in the youtube for a long time there is a chance for your child even though it is rare but does if the screen time is more there is a chance for a slow shifting from normal c to virtual autism so don't give your child don't uh, put your child in trouble by because of our wrong action do not give mobile phone so why i have i said it is that is what we say social skills important of social skills once if the child slowly shift to virtual autism the child will not be having that proper social skills to interact with the society not talking to anyone no proper eye contact uh, uh, shouting at times when they listen unpleasant noise that uh, the child is always happy with the noise of the mobile phone whatever the things they, that child listen from the mobile phone not, not otherwise so don't put our children in such troubles don't give mobile phone that is the most, that is very good but in the present situation your children would be so much happy to go through the video okay once the child is crying the parent or you would be you are also a parent giving you keep giving the mobile phone some for some time but make sure just for 5 minutes or 10 minutes whatever be the tantrums they show you please stick on to your point do not give it and in the classroom don't make them watch the smart class for a long time in play class don't show them the tv for a long time but make sure you give them a lot of games and activities so that they can interact if if the if your, if your children are sleeping for some time that's fine it's good for their health but not watching the tv for a long time so that is my point but you do it according to your school situation and system i have no 
uh, objection okay so anyway so i hope we said sensory and perceptual domain the cognitive domain the language development the most important area as per ncf in the foundational stage you have to focus on the foundational literacy and numeracy the foundational literacy which are the main objectives of foundational literacy one is print awareness your children should understand whichever be the sound you make what are letters what are writing writing is simply drawing some uh, so drawing some simple which make sound isn't it you draw the letters that is a simple that makes a sound clear so that is it whatever sounds they make you are showing them your sound has a master your sound has a source to produce that sound and that is letter a and that is letter a that is see you say wow you can write it on the board w or w that's wow so that is what we say print awareness your classroom should be print rich you can put a lot of words in the on the walls in the notice board in on the board let them make, make them read 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 not necessary to introduce the letters not necessary to introduce a sound you can show a lot of words whatever be the uh, words you get or the signs or the symbols that you get from the surroundings jewelry photo stat restaurant hotel hospital the federal bank the axis bank whichever be the note boards whichever be the sign boards they see in their surroundings write it in a, a chart paper in a flash card put it in the classroom make them read at least once every day that is what we call print awareness your children would be so happy to read it when they go outside okay this is what we call sight words reading practice you can give you, you can improve their reading in two ways one is phonological reading the other one is sight words reading so this is what we call sight words reading my dear teachers when you teach a rhyme when you teach a story get all the words from that particular story displayed in the class by the time you complete the story make them listen make them read all the words three or five times thirsty sunny crow uh, drink uh, searching water thirsty sunny crow searching water make them read it from the chart paper many many times vocabulary development also would happen and also their reading capacity will be enhanced so make them read as many words as possible so when we speak about the literacy keep it in your mind it's not about writing it's about reading up to seven years your children has the brain capacity to learn thousands and thousands of words as vocabulary just let them read it let them say it let them understand the meaning not in writing you need not compel them you need not insist them to write all the names of the months okay let them write it 10 times oh so they are they are going to first standard let them write 10 times i don't know if they want to learn it in first standard let them learn it from first standard why should they make them learn it from ukg that is it's not necessary so but let them read the word january february march april let them read it many many times so that they would be so happy to read it from a textbook so they are reading so when we speak about the literacy the third or fourth that is reading fluency fluent reading that should be reached so to reach that fluency sight to words should be given so the first point is print awareness second one is phonological awareness oh my god see we are talking about phonics not about phonetics these both these are different we are talking about the sounds and how the same sound happens in as in a lot of words when we speak about phonics there are certain words which could not be segmented into chunks of sounds using phonics in, the, in this age the up to seven years okay so it's not possible so that is why i said it is different but it could be easily segmented into syllables using phonetics that is different case clear so if you find a word which could not be segmented using phonics and if you are so particular to teach that word give it introduce it as a tricky word so i always always tell the teachers if you want to make them learn vegetables names or spellings okay introduce it as tricky words there are some words with the last e silent okay and you cannot segment it like that even though in the word cake <laughs> a that a consonant e that makes a dash e that blend that group the long gives the long sound of the vowel a but you cannot introduce 
how these two letters a dash e comes there in that particular word you simply introduce a long sound of the letter a as a and that comes in cake but you need to make them learn the spelling so how will you introduce so tricky e or magic e words see in these words the last letter e is silent he won't make a noise he won't make a sound okay and introduce these words make them read it many 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 times after seeing the word for a for a few days your children would have definitely have the capacity to rem remember that spelling and again if you want it you please teach them c a k e cake telling that the last letter is silent it's a tricky word a tricky e word like that this is the only thing i can tell you about learning uh, what by hearting the spellings and if you have some wonderful method other than this just go with that clear so phonic awareness which are the sounds made by the letters so my textbook balloons uh, that contains the maximum possible blends the diphthongs or the digraphs in the textbook by the time they complete the two years understand phonics is for reading not simply for writing the spelling when you introduce a phonic sound of like a don't make them say a i a and learn it because when they comes to some other blends like sh you cannot make them say yes yet sh so they will have the confusion why miss because yes makes a sound yet makes a sound but you are making a new sound so when you make them write and practice sh as in shape don't go for saying yes sh sh don't it's not necessary but let them write yes the chance they sh, sh and practice it i i hope what all drama i am doing you can say it, it's clear to you i don't know because we don't have a board i hope the sounds which i make are also audible and clear to you uh, using this microphone in this platform uh, so that is it but your children have to write and practice a sound ch you then write ch ch but don't say ch so in that way they have to practice the spelling of all the digraphs or the blends or the diphthongs and introduce as many words as possible let them learn it let them learn it after reading the words and understanding if it is possible to segment it like sh ip or sh ip sh ip ship so segment the sounds make them say it faster and let them identify which is the word you say m a t m a t m a t m a t increase the speed so your children can read it mat they can understand the sounds and they can join the sounds to read it mat that is the best way to make them under, learn the spellings or the sounds of a word so that is phonological awareness i, I we don't have time it's already one hour we don't have much time to speak only about that so throughout the textbook in lkg the short sounds of the alphabet english alphabet have given and at the end we have given cvc blending keeping vowels in the middle so, okay three letter blendings are blends and you can make them write it you can put surprise dictations also you can make them read it m at or m at like that you can give the blends at ab ag ad such blends also could be given and join consonant in the beginning let them enjoy making words and read it don't make them uh, uh, that painful pleasure of don't give them that painful pleasure of writing 10 times let them simply sit there do it as a game ah miss this is a word i got it so make them uh, 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 re uh, read it say the word uh, identifying the sounds of the uh, word letters or the groups of letters in that particular word and the next one is oral language development so that is the best area i told you about picture reading pages in the textbook that is to communicate if you show a page ask your children oh my god which is this place is it a park yeah it's a park there are so many children in the park and they are do, doing a lot of things can you tell me what this boy is doing with a net is he running behind a butterfly wow nice and is he trying to catch it yes he is trying to catch it he is catching a butterfly with the net so the children teacher and children can sit together and speak about the page teachers this page this particular area is to introduce action word vocabulary and the time when you sit together and interact is called a circle time as per any circle time 
So your teachers and teacher, teacher and the children sit together and you can in the circle term you can go for picture reading from the textbook if it is just not necessary you can go for a free conversation wow what did you do in the last two days saturdays and sunday tell me what did you do let them speak in kannada let them speak in tamil telugu whatever be the language their mother tongue no issues but teacher can speak only in english teacher uh -huh. you went to the park very good you went to your relative's house very good who is that relative your uncle nice and does your uncle have uh, two children or three children okay so go for such conversations that is what we call free conversations but if you if the teacher has an idea to introduce vegetables go prepared and that is what we call structured conversations teacher has the vegetables teacher teacher is going to introduce the smell of the vegetables teacher is going to introduce the sound of the i mean sorry not sound the texture of the vegetables the taste of the vegetables that is what we call structured conversation you if you are introducing the uh, seasons structured conversation so conversations are very very important in improving their oral language and in the textbook we have rhymes as i told you rhymes are a wonderful tool for improve, improving their language don't simply go to the classroom and sing the rhyme rhymes are not for singing rhymes are for saying you have to say the rhyme not don't sing the rhyme in the animations the digital support we provide there are uh, animations of the rhymes beautifully sung by some people that's nice but it is not in the classroom teaching after the teaching you can make, make them listen to that but by the time so you learn poetry isn't it you learn poetry in the higher class in your degree or in your pg or in your school a uh, school days you understand the poetry what is the theme of the poetry what are the poetic devices used in that whether the poetry is, has got a feeling or emotion is it sad something about uh, the, that feeling of uh, sorrow the feeling of happiness the feeling of love whichever be the feeling or the emotion you understand it your teacher teaches it so well then you may compose the poem that is later part then you may compose it that is just to uh, sing it to the, the the poem sing it and enjoy the mood enjoy the emotion but before that you already learned it so the rhyme is also like that are you sleeping are you sleeping or somebody else is sleeping there who is sleeping who is sleeping so when someone is sleeping sleeping the body will do you will go and wake that person up isn't it it's already late in the morning so you have to go and wake that person are you sleeping it's a question so you should make your child to ask a question isn't it are you sleeping brother john morning bells are ringing get up get up wake up morning bells are ringing and how the how it's ringing ding dong dong ding dong dong it's not simply are you sleeping are you sleeping when i listen that particular tune that stereotype already the kg teachers have taken the patent of that song that tune twinkle twinkle johnny johnny cobbler cobbler the same tune i don't think the teachers are not feeling tired of singing this all the rhymes in the same tune eh? and i feel it like the ambulance is coming when i hear that tune ding dong ding dong johnny johnny yes papa eating sugar no papa telling lies no papa open your mouth cobbler cobbler mend my shoes okay stitch it up stitch it down so it's a conversation so why don't you introduce it twinkle twinkle little star yo it's a, it's a, it's a small one you know small one how i wonder what you are oh my god what are you see you are at that at, the, at such a you know long distance and you twinkle so i wonder what at least the meaning of how i wonder the child should understand the meaning from your eyes your modulation the way you present the, the particular vocabulary isn't it a tingle tingle little star what is it you can sing it later that's all you give it as a song later so whenever you introduce their rhyme twinkle twinkle little star have you seen stars yes of course at what time 
at night time. What is the difference between night time and day time? Tell me. What do you find? What are the differences you find? So that is a topic in EVF. You go for a communication conversation. You can introduce the EVF, EVF concept there. You just talk to your children. Don't straight away go to that particular rhyme. Clear. So this is how you improve the uh, oral language. Their capacity to communicate in English using uh, rhymes. So these are my humble con uh, suggestions, my dear teacher. Humble suggestions. I know I am not the perfect KG teacher. You people are excellent. You people are excellent. But whenever we go through the KG classes, I find uh, you know, some kind of you know what what is happening. Uh, what is the learning outcome? That's the most important thing. What do you benefit when you discuss when you do all these kinds uh, kinds of things in the class? So these are the main areas I have to focus today. And uh, before we finish, uh, I, I should present some of the pages from the textbook. And now we will think about, we will just uh, discuss some of the games and activities. First, I will speak, tell you about numeracy part. The, see, some of the areas, some of the areas. You can introduce games like little engineers. Okay, little engineers. So let them build something. See, if you have paper cups, ask them to build a... Uh, uh, what do you say? What do we say? Pillars or you know towers using like paper cups. You need not purchase something very costly from outside to build that uh, towers. So little engineers, they can go for different different patterns. But what is our aim? How many paper cups have used to make this pattern? So it's for counting, little engineers. So it's not simply one above the other. So they can go for a row and another row just above that. And they can build a square or a circle using the paper cups, whatever be the shape or the size, the pattern that doesn't matter. But the thing is, they have to concentrate, you know, they should go for some of their pattern, their idea. So I constructed this mess. And how many cups? That is important. They can construct one tower, another tower. And one 20 cups, one 15 cups, which is taller, which is shorter. This, this is taller because of 20 cups. This is shorter with the 15 cup. So which number is taller? Which number is greater? Yeah, 20 is of course it is dead because, because I can see. So dead. So that, that gives the same uh, purpose, same importance of uh, in, uh, using uh, uh, what? Number rods. So if you don't have number rods, buy some paper cups and do this activity. So little engineers and uh, uh, give them some uh, sticks. I tell the teachers, buy a new broom from the market of coconut ribs, cut it into small pieces, you will get bundles of stick, sticks, isn't it? You give that sticks, ask them to make shapes on the floor, let them, it's a group activity, even if it is 40 students or 50 students, you can give, let them sit on the floor and make shapes and there also counting should be uh, used, let them make shape, see, don't think that they are, see, don't insist them to make the shapes of triangle or rectangle. See, let them make any shape, any pattern that comes into their mind. You ask them to make the shapes, ask them to count the sticks and ask them to find out the number card that matches the number of sticks. So your child has to come and select, I, I, I used 33. So where is the 33 card? The card with the number 33. The child has to find out. So the child should be already knowing which is the number 33. And how it is literally returned, 33, the two threes are there. And this is a card. Oh my God, I got it. So the teacher can go and check it. So it's a group activity. Again, you can ask them to make shapes using sticks. Now, again, making, uh, see, this could be done outside also. That is, you just uh, 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 put some sticks on the ground. Give them some thread to circle it. Okay. And that sticks, if you are having, if your management would be supporting, take some bamboos and uh, uh, put it in the ground, clear, keep it in the ground in different, different patterns. Suppose if you put, if you, uh, 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 yeah, put four, uh, four bamboo sticks, clear, and ask them to give, give a thread and ask them to circle it. When they circle the four bamboo sticks with the thread, they can see a rectangle. Then that will give the shape of a rectangle. So it's an outdoor activity. And you just simply insert 
some uh, uh, number of 20 or 25 bamboo sticks without any shape and give them the thread ask them to circle ask them to move around and make shapes so from within that uh, maze they can move here and there and get some shapes and patterns if it is possible very simple get some bamboo sticks it's very simple and it need not be tall because you are giving it to kg children no so it's very very simple so that is also an activity it's a game and one seed that that is having no shape you can ask them to make the shape of a triangle or rectangle or a circle so you see the children would be so which are the three bamboo sticks i have to select so that i can make a circle i can so i can make a triangle is it clear now the next one uh, counting uh, 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 using a uh, mugs take some a bucket of water and ask them to count with a, a mug or a glass and transfer that water to the other bucket so that they can measure the quantity this bucket contains is not like a liters of water it's not like a kilogram of water or something like that it like number of mugs of water or number of glasses of water so counting will be done and also they will get an idea that idea of concept of quantity how much water is there in the bucket and ask them to uh, count the number of steps the four steps from the door to the principal's room from the door to the dining room from the door to the computer lab like that let them count it using the four steps so they have to do a physical activity and they have to count it isn't it so counting will be done and also physical activity then that uh, compare your children to find out who is taller so your, ch your children let two children come and stand and they let them compare themselves so you are taller than me so the child should say miss i am shorter i am shorter than akhil akhil is taller than me like that they have to use that language and take for a campus walk ask them to count the number of trees number of uh, windows number of pillars number of buses number of bikes number of cars after counting the teacher has to note it down and in your classroom the statistical pattern that uh, picture diagram should be given clear definitely the teacher should draw it in a chart paper okay you know how it is drawn you have done it in your mathematics in 10th standard when you go for learning frequency and the frequency table frequency diagram you know so a line showing number of trees another line showing number of uh, uh, pillars another uh, di a line showing number of cars and on the y-axis the corresponding number 30 100 like that so the children will be looking when when they look at the chart they will do the comparison oh number of trees is more than number of cars it is only uh, 10 cars but the number of trees is 100 or 20 like that so which number is bigger which is smaller so they will get that idea so it is in the NEP, in the NCF also it is given that statistical diagram should be given, the pictograph should be given in the classroom. So for different, different things, you can go for drawing the diagram on a chart paper. Now for teaching the subtraction, the teacher is behaving, the teacher is acting like a duck, another teacher is like a fox or one child is like a duck, another child is like a fox. The child, the duck has already laid 20 eggs and that is in the basket. The child sometimes go for feeding to, for, to find out uh, some food for it. The fox comes, to, comes there and steal one egg and go away, run away. So the teacher is asking, oh my God, the fox has taken one egg from the, from the basket, from the nest. The duck is coming and the duck finds out that she is crying, the duck is crying, the mother duck is crying. How many ducks are there in the basket now? Already it was 20. The fox has taken one. And now how many remains? So the child has to, one child has to come and count it and say 19. So the teacher gives the idea 20 minus 1 is 19. Very good. Again the fox comes, takes one uh, uh, egg away. So again the counting. But after two, three countings, no more counting. Your children would learn to subtract by one and simply say, yeah, 15 minus one is 14. 14 minus one is, they will say that. So that's a game, that's an activity, that's a play so that they can in, uh, understand concept of subtraction. And then comes uh, uh, stick games. The teacher will be simply distributing some sticks to the children. 
without counting and then the teacher will raise a number card so the child has to count the sticks in his hand and say miss i have number 3 i have number 10 so that is it so that is what we say stick game so you can go for such a game and even uh, or odd numbers so a teacher calls the children to the class in front of the class a group of children and uh, teacher make them stand in groups like one then two two as a pair okay just uh, embracing each other or holding their hands around the hip and but one extra so two then one then two two then two two one then two 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 and the teacher will ask the other children see they are standing in groups but in some groups one child is alone he has no friend which are the groups the first one number one the third one number three then the fifth one number five so the teacher will say these groups with a single child with no friend are odd numbers okay so that odd numbers cannot be paired completely but even numbers there are pairs so the child can see even odd numbers in front of their eyes clear so that is a game that's an activity and uh, for addition also you can use your children to add one by one by one and uh, let them understand how addition is done so it is not possible for me to show it now because this is an online platform and uh, to uh, uh, introduce before after middle numbers and all you can take three horses that means three children they let them run who is running before who is running behind who is running after who is which horse is running in the middle which horse is running after him which horse is running be, in front of him or before him like that you can uh, let them play it as they as the horses and do that then ascending descending song i already told you counting and clapping i already told you uh, multiplication table or addition table and clapping i already told you and uh, walking in different speeds that's a physical activity for gross motor you can ask them to walk like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so the teacher and the children together walk like that clear let them together walk like that then uh, number lines you can draw a number line on the ground place the children at 0 at 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 call another child let them let him stand on the number 0 stand in front of number 0 and teacher say ask what is 0 plus 3 you know what is 0 plus 3 don't know so let us check it so tell the child who is standing in front of number 0 to walk three steps forward so he reaches at 3 so what is 0 plus 3 3 now you can go for what is 3 plus 2 again let him walk two steps forward he will reach at 5 that is a sum clear and uh, then again let the child walk back three steps 5 minus 3 the child will reach at the number 2 so walking forward for addition walking backward for subtraction on the number line nice it is so it's a wonderful activity i felt it like that even for higher classes to teach addition and subtraction of negative numbers also this idea could be used but there it will just get reversed if it is addition of negative numbers backward movement subtraction forward movement so it will go like that but anyway now uh see these are so many are there but the time is getting up and see these kind of activities you can find my dear teachers play in or out let them stand in a circle in for even number odd for uh, um, sorry out for odd number in for even number odd for out num out, uh, say out for odd numbers the same game could be used for in for uh, vowels out for consonants in for vowel words out for consonant words again for the same game can be used for in for domestic animal out for wild animals in for verbs out for nouns see the same game but it could be used for all these concepts you play a musical chair in the classroom teacher is continuously telling the names of the wild animals lion lion giraffe giraffe leopard leopard but the moment she says duck the child has to the children have to sit on the chair okay so like that you can play you can play a musical chair 
the same thing could be used for verbs and nouns clear the teacher will be telling uh, the teacher you can divide the classroom into four areas and teacher will keep in one area there is an umbrella in the other area there is some ice or cold water uh, sorry uh, a woolen woolen shirt or woolen material or simply wool in the other area teacher will be keeping some flowers in the other area teacher will be keeping some which is other season uh, i said for summer i ah, umbrella so you see and the children will be asked to move around and teacher will say summer season so that suddenly the idea that the children should have in their mind in summer season is very hot isn't it so we have to go and get some cold water or ice water so the children has to they have to rush to that corner with the ice water then when the again teacher will call back the children they they will you will say monsoon teacher children have to go to the area with the umbrella like that you can uh, do an activity for season introducing the seasons so these are the main areas main uh, the these are the games sample games and activities which i can give i have more with the numeracy and all in the you can play antakshari in uh, teaching english or malayalam or kannada or tamil how teacher will say i will say a word and definitely you have to write the word on the board okay i will say a word you have to say a word with the letter that comes at the end when i say cake i write it on the board the last letter is e so you have to say a word that begins with the letter e so that kind of antakshari games could be done in the classroom so that the vocabulary development will be fast that's a funny game you can show one person can uh, show the action of a word like this example the other people's children should say which is that word so that damsharas also could be played in that way you can play it in the class for numeracy and uh, conversations regarding i saw uh, i said uh, then, uh, then 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 science corner i said sight words i said phonics i said regarding the songs i said and uh, nep says in lower classes also if it is possible maybe in the mother tongue it is okay say one sentence one child says one sentence another child says a sentence in connection with that so that the children can make a new story story so sentence sentence simply let them say some sentence okay we already played such games in our higher classes also uh, uh, say a sentence and make a story how it comes at the end you can go for that so these are the ideas which i can give my dear teachers and before we conclude i have i would like to uh, invite uh, aparna uh, to say to show the digital supports uh, that we provide okay just to give an you will, you will give a conclusion on that uh miss aparna please i hope you are there yes, ready sir. with the things yes sir yes, yes please sir. do that yeah i'll be sharing my screen mm -hmm. okay so these are uh, this is the website of password so once you click and on to the website you get to this page and then when you scroll down you see the digital school resources question paper generator books of classes 1 to 8 kindergarten section animations worksheets flashcards workshops and the order form okay out of this if you click on the digital school resources you will be taken to another page wherein you have to log in. Now, for logging in, your school will be given a particular ID and password, which is specific for each school. Now, for the demo purpose, I'm going to sign in with my ID. And then once you log in, the books that you have opted for, the school has opted for, will be shown on this page. Now, since this is my official ID, I have access to all the books. For you, it will be the books that you have selected will be shown to you. So let us look at Balloons LKG Literacy. Once you click on that, you will be taken to another page where you have to click on Open. And then 
you get this page. Now, if you see here on the top, you have the teacher's handbook, you have the model lesson plan, extra worksheets, and the ebook. Ebook is the electronic book, the electronic version of the textbook that we have. Now, if you click on these, these are the names of the lessons that are given in the textbook. If you click on each of them, for example, let me click on this, my letters A and B. You have an animation, then the activity related to that and the ebooks. Let us click on the animation. Now, since these are for letters A and B, you have two animations available. These animations are for the rhymes that are given for those particular letters. Now, if you click on letter my letter A or my letter, let us go in for my letter B. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. So we have the animations for each rhyme available. So if, I'm sorry. So once you click on the back button, you'll again be taken to the same page. And then if you click on the activity, you can see here, there's a question. If you have a, a smart classroom in your school, it will be easier for you to do these interactive activities in the classroom. You can use these activities for assessment. Now here, the question here is, choose the first letter of the picture. Now you ask the question to the children and let the question, uh, let the children answer these questions. Now, suppose your children say that it is, uh, it, the picture starts with the letter B. When you click on that, and then check. Click on the check option. No, no, no. If the answer is wrong, it turns red in color and the cat is not happy. Now let's try again. And if the child, if the children says it is letter A, let us check it. Yes. Since the answer is correct, the color shown there is green and the cat is happy. Now, in case the children are unable to say the answer, what you can do is you can click on the solution yes. directly and the answer will be shown. Let us go back. Let me show you the ebook. <coughs> now, if you see the ebook here, these are the pages of the textbook for the letters A and B. We have all the pages related to letter a, letters A and B. Now, you can see a sound icon here. If you click on the sound icon, you will get the pronunciation of these words. My letter A. The sound of letter A is A. Ant. Apple. Axe. Ambulance. Alligator. More examples, arrow, anchor. So you get the sounds, the ways to pronounce the words given in the page. Then if you click on the next button here at the bottom, you get to the next page. So accordingly, you can choose each page that you want and each of the class. Now let's go to another. Uh, so like this, there are various options available here. Now, let's look at uh, one of these stories. Let us look at the story of the thirsty crow. The thirsty crow. It was a hot, sunny day. A thirsty crow was looking for water. He searched for a long time. At last, he saw a pot with a little water at the bottom. He tried to drink but could not reach the water. He started thinking and came up with an idea. He saw some pebbles nearby. He picked and dropped them into the pot one by one. The water came up. The crow drank the water and flew away happily. Moral, 
Never lose hope. Keep trying and you will succeed. So accordingly animations for all the chapters are available. Okay. That's it regarding this textbook. Then we have other options. Uh, the same thing is available for all the other textbooks also. That is for UKG literacy. Now, another option that we have is the question paper generator. Currently, we are working on the question paper generator for the kindergarten section. Since the question papers for kindergarten uh, carries a lot of images, a lot of pictures, uh, we are working in on to that. Uh, we have question paper generators for classes one to eight as of now. But then we do have question papers available from our site, which you can get as a soft copy. So that's regarding our digital school resources. You also have access to teacher's handbook, uh, which I'll show you. Mm. Oh, we have different resources like the flashcards. There are flashcards for LKG. There are various flashcards available. A set of flashcards is given to the children along with their set of books. Yeah, excuse me. So these, yes, the, these flashcards are given to children along with the textbook and also you will your teachers will be getting uh, as uh, teaching aid for the teachers also from password. So you will be getting flashcards of all the topics, uh, important topics in the textbook for one year. That is the flowers or uh, uh, fruits or vegetables, animals, whatever numbers, uh, alphabets, everything will be there. So this flashcard, now the present picture, pictures are from the flashcard set for the children and that could be used by the parent to revise at home. So you can tell that also to your parents that this is for you to check how, the, how much the child has learned and the other one is for the teachers and you can show it in the class at flashcards and also go for one to one interaction. Just call a child to your table and check whether the uh, child has uh, reached that uh, standard of uh, learning. You can check it, you can use, use it as an assessment. And the whole set of flashcards, again, the, all the pictures are separately given as chart also. That's a chart of animals, chart of uh, wild animals, chart of vegetables, chart of fruits like that. Separately, that is given. So your teacher, teachers can ask it uh, to the password executives, so those who are coming to your school. Now, this is high frequency words chart. High frequency words chart also should be pasted in the classroom. Make your children read these uh, one, or three or four words or five words maximum uh, uh, for one week and the next five words for the next week like that. And once if they read, read and understand the sight words, then they can easily find, read this word, they find there in some other lessons or textbook in, uh, in the higher, in the higher class means later in the classes. So that is it, high frequency. This also your teachers will be getting a chart. This is a picture reading page as I said early. Uh, that is a child is this teacher should make use of at least half an hour for interacting about the page this is our earth we can see the lands the mountains uh, uh, children should uh, uh, respond to the picture not the teacher and what all things you see the other and whatever be the questions they ask you have to explain you have to say in a childish the language which is suited for the children so that is no need to say more about uh, the science uh, scientific things uh, uh, related to the picture, but otherwise, so, so this is this is picture reading given in the EVS uh, ch uh, chapter. Then next, anything else? Yes, I'll just show the charts. We have the flower charts. So this is a this is a chart of the fruits. So there are maximum available pictures of the fruits are given in the chart. Sometimes teachers ask, oh, why should we have all these names for the So you should give, show them the maximum names, maximum. Clear? Let them read. At least uh, uh, watching the picture, seeing the picture, let them read. Clear? So that is not a problem. See, in their age, they can read all these words. They can remember. Once if they see these fruits outside, they can uh, um, identify also. Oh, this is this is kiwi. This is something like, you know, it's good. So show them. Whenever you introduce a particular concept to take this chart to the classroom and show them and make them read it, make them say the names. We also have story cards. So story cards separately for children and also for teachers. Teachers, they have, that, that story cards were very big. The, I, I told you, show the story cards and interact, communicate. That is what we need. It's not telling the story using the story card, interacting with the story card. Okay, that's all. Yes, sir. So 
So that's, that's it regarding the resources that we provide. Yes. Okay. Okay. So my dear teachers, uh, I should say, whatever with the help you need, please feel free to contact that uh, password uh, businessmen who come to come over that you are a campus uh, and uh, talk to them, ask them for the help. And as I told you in the beginning, if it is possible, we will be having such online in interactions for at least for a half an hour or one hour maximum, uh, once in a month or once in a term. And uh, whatever be the confusions of the queries you have, you can also communicate that with the businessmen through the WhatsApp so that regarding that questions, we will be discuss we will be having arranging discussions. So that's all from my side, all the very best wishes for you to have a wonderful academic year. What all things I said are, uh, I told you humble uh, suggestions uh, my, from my side and uh, whatever you want, you just take it and you discover more activities, games and methods to make your classroom a happy, joyful classroom for your children. Foundational stage is very, very, very important and the password of course give importance to the development of the teachers also. So that is why uh, we explained all these teaching aids about the teaching aids and uh, you people are excellent go ahead with your uh, wonderful pedagogy your talent in kindergarten teaching or in the foundation stage teaching and make your children happy and let them uh, uh, let them be entertained throughout the classroom in the next academic year so that's all thank you so much from my side on behalf of password also thank you so much and uh, if uh, the time allows we will see uh, physically uh, uh, we will see later if the go if the universe allows we will see later in your campus okay that's all thank you so much love you all all the very best wishes may god bless you thank you so much sir thank you for enriching us with all these activities which can be easily done in a classroom and thank you dear teachers for joining us and sharing with us your valuable time all the very best for a new academic year. I am sure that you all will rock. Thank you so much. Thank you so much from Password Publishing House. Thank you.